Homelessness is a growing problem, even right here in Monmouth County. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Elaine Young. She's a board member of Family Promise of Monmouth County. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. When we talk about homelessness, many people don't necessarily associate it with this area. We often think of Monmouth County as an affluent area. But talk to us about the growing problem of homelessness. Well, it is a growing problem. Uh, of course, you, everyone knows the economy is, is bad and it isn't really getting much better. Um, the problem of homelessness is, be is kind of better hidden in Monmouth County because a lot of people see the wealth, the you know the big houses, the, you know, fancy cars, the movie stars and singers that we live here, and nobody thinks that there are you know over 200 children who are homeless every day in Monmouth County. You know, in their families, it, you know they sleep on the streets in their cars under the boardwalk in Asbury Park. It's, it is a growing problem, and it's not going to get any better because uh, unemployment it continues to stay at such a high rate, and it's actually higher for different segments of the population. Uh, so, you know, they lose their job, you know, then they lose their apartment or their house, and they're out on the street. Now, talk to us about how your organization works to uh, temporarily house homeless families. Well, Family Promise works. It's uh, unique in... The, in the way that um, most homeless shelters work. Uh, we house our families in a network of congregations. Uh, each congregation houses the families for a week at a time. At the moment, we have 10 host congregations uh, in our network. The families go to the church at night. Um, they, they have dinner there. Uh, uh, they sleep overnight. The, they're given breakfast in the morning and lunch to take with them. Um, and then they go to the day center during the day where they receive uh, intensive case management, which would include budgeting, um, job searching. Uh, in some cases, we can uh, send them out or fund job training so that they can increase their skills and their potential for a better income. Uh, and uh, even after they're um, successfully graduated from the network, we have uh, in place um, um, case management afterward to help them continue on the road to make sure that they stay stable. You have a unique type of fundraiser coming up on September 30th to really hit home for people what it is like to be homeless, to, to live on the street. You're calling this Cardboard Box City. It's happening in Tinton Falls on September 30th. Talk to us about what happens at this event. What we do is we ask uh, or, um, you know, organizations, um, youth groups, schools, uh, even families, you know, it's all ages, um, to basically get a cardboard box, uh, get sponsors, uh, pledges for donations, come and sleep in a cardboard box overnight. Uh, dinner will be on a soup line. They'll have soup, bread, and water as their dinner. Uh, we will have um, entertainment. Uh, last year we had speakers. Uh, Senator Beck came uh, and uh, spoke at our event. We had one of our former guests come to tell them what Family Promise meant to them and how Family Promise helped him and his family. Um, you know, in the morning, it's bright and early, 6 o'clock, and they're, you know, out and with, you know, some donuts and they're gone. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and it's rain or shine just as if they were on the street. Um, if it rains, there we are, you know, because that's, that's what it's like. We want to, people to become aware that those who are homeless don't have a choice. Um, of whether or not they sleep in the rain. And this is obviously to raise awareness, but it is a fundraiser for it your organization. It is a fundraiser, so we're looking for sponsors, we're looking for donations, um, donations of food, water, you know, the things that we might need. Uh, last year we had a generous donation of the porta potties so people, you know, had a place. Um, and, you know, but especially we're looking for sponsors to uh, help us along. All right. Thanks so much. And again, this is all happening on September 30th. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. We've been talking with Elaine Young. She's a board member for Family Promise of Monmouth County. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.